Wendy with Mama Lotties, and today we're gonna to come down onto the roller. You're gonna place it perpendicular to the mat. Remember, you wanna support your core as you come down, and you're gonna to wanna to put it right on top of your sacrum, so right in between your, your hip bones and just above your tailbone. If you are still in those early phases of recovering or just getting in this position is challenging for you, uh, you're gonna to wanna to wait to use the roller for this little workout. You go ahead and just take the roller out. You can do this flat on the floor, or you can put a little pillow under your sacrum, but you're gonna to wanna to come down, supporting your core, using your arms as you come down onto the roller. Feet flat on the floor. Just take a couple big inhales into the rib cage, and then exhale. Feel yourself sink down into the roller. So inhaling into the ribs, into the sides of the ribs, nice and wide along the mat. Shoulders are on the mat and exhale, sink down into the roller. Imagine your hip bones just drawing towards each other as you exhale. You're gonna inhale again, and on this exhale, you're gonna straighten your left leg out. Try not to pop and arch your back. Keep those ribs connected to the floor, even if that means you have to put a pillow under your head, and bring your other knee in. So getting a nice stretch through the hip flexors um, just below the waist, at the top of the thigh, those hip flexors can get really tight. You wanna make sure you get a nice stretch in there before you go deep into your core. So reaching, again, try to get your foot on the floor. If it's bent, that's fine. But keep reaching out through the leg as you draw the bent knee in. On your next exhale, you'll switch sides. bringing your left knee in and reaching out through that right leg. So really reach out through the heel. If your leg is being pulled off to the side because your IT band is sort of tight, go ahead and bring that leg right back in line with your hip and your shoulder. So it's right down the line there, reaching and lengthening through the heels. And then both feet flat on the floor, adjusting that back. If you popped up, drop those ribs down. Arms on the floor, palms facing down or up. You're gonna exhale, draw that belly in and just bring one knee up to a tabletop position with shoulders and ribs on the floor. Exhale, tap that toe to the floor. <sighs> Inhaling up and exhale. <sighs> Inhale, stay long and exhale, gather everything up. <sighs> Imagine your pubic bone and your ribs drawing towards each other the whole time, the ribs, Stay down, the shoulders stay down, there's no popping. And if you can bring your leg just to here without adjusting your spine, that's fine too. I'd rather have you come to here than to go all the way down and lose that alignment. You won't feel it. Other leg's gonna come up, you're gonna bring it up, inhale, and exhale, tap it down. So this is core work. Try to turn your leg off. Sink into that uh, roller. And as you exhale, draw that belly in. Engage in your core before you even move your leg. Two more. And two. Good, both feet flat on the floor, hands on your hip bones. And you're just gonna inhale, open both knees out to the side. And exhale, bring everything back, zip everything up. Squeeze everything in. And then inhale, knees open up. So you're not gonna open up so much that you arch. Stay connected and exhale and inhale, and exhale. So the deeper you go with this, and the more you really recruit your abdominal muscles to pull your legs back together and may help you maintain that stability, the more you're gonna feel that right through your core. Stay long through your waist. Three, two, last one, and one. Great job, go ahead and bring one knee up to a tabletop position again, and you're gonna straighten that leg out and exhale, pull it in, right up over the hip. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale back. And inhale out, and exhale, wrap everything up. You can use your arms to press in and stabilize, trying to stay wide to the shoulders. Two more, keeping those hips right where they are. Try not to wobble around, last one and then take that leg, bringing it down without arching the back, other leg comes up, and exhale out. Drawing your pubic bone 
towards your belly button and your belly button down towards your pubic bone to stay stable. You might be at a place where you feel like you can bring both legs up without bulging out through your core. If you can do that, maybe you can bring your legs a little bit higher if you feel like you're losing that alignment or your belly is bulging out or just go back to that one leg, two more. Exhale, press and press and then go ahead and bring both knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Great job.